pro pal I mean, pro-communist kids attack a teacher in New York City. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Keisha King Show. And we're going to be discussing these communist kids, these radicalized kids who attacked a teacher in a New York City school. So if you've watched my content enough, you know that I can't stand the communist. And you also know that we have been infiltrated by communists for decades. It is the reason why critical race theory is a thing in the United States of America. It is the reason why gender ideology is a thing in the United States of America. And it is the reason that high schoolers think they know the ins and outs of geopolitical circumstances, conflicts, and wars well enough to protest. Young people protesting is not necessarily, it's not a new thing in America, certainly from the Vietnam War. And, you know, young people tend to have these very, you know, grandiose views of the world. They see things as how they ought to be, not how they are. Many adults do that as well. You know, we don't want to steal the innocence from children. However, the fact that these children are so radical to the point where they would assail a teacher says a lot. Let's take a look at the video. Videos capturing moments of chaos in the halls of this New York City public school. Students marching through Hillcrest High School in Queens. Phones out recording as they dance in a circle and wave Palestinian flags. After approximately 400 students acted disruptively, roving the school and calling for the removal of a Jewish educator. The reason that teacher was targeted, this image, which circulated on social media in the days prior, allegedly showing her at a rally supporting Israel. The teacher at Hillcrest High School was targeted based on her support for Israel. Expressed in a permissible way outside of school hours and her Jewish identity. The NYPD says they received a call from a- And her Jewish identity. Not heritage, not ethnicity, not religion, identity. You picking up? You picking up what I'm putting down? A 45-year-old woman saying she received a threat from an unknown person at the school on social media. These kids are out of control. They need to be suspended. None of this restorative justice stuff, thanks Obama, none of that. They need to be suspended and their parents need to be if charges need to be brought, then have at it. We cannot have a society like this. Are we supposed to expect for these kids to get better? They have no fear, no shame, no nothing. They do not fear any consequences. They do not care. They, they are ripe for um, communist who those who are seeking out these Marxist groups, those who seek out young people, these kind of kids are the exact kids that they go for. They further radicalize them and you'll be seeing them running around with hoodies and mask on at the next protest riot. Honestly, this is a very Muslim population. The school right. is populated with a lot of Muslims. So they just felt the way about the teacher, but it wasn't nothing like violent per se and it didn't start off that way to be honest the teacher felt threatened as the rail there's a lot of muslim kids there they just felt a way about the teacher because she felt a certain way don't are we not seeing that it is already being instilled into kids that you are not allowed to have a different way of thinking you're not allowed to have a different way of thinking and particularly to the left. And I don't care what nobody says. If you look at Congress, if you look at Democrats, most Democrats automatically side with Palestine because, because they have become communist. I know I say it a lot and you, it's, you know, whatever, but that's what they are. And I think the more, the sooner we realize what exactly we are dealing with, the better. Because the more we try to put this off, like, oh, they're just being kids. Oh, you know, they're, they don't really know what they're doing. 
oh, they, you know, all of this stuff and not realize, no, these kids are communists. They're radicalized, not saying all of them, but many of them are. Listen to what the girl said. We just, you know, it really wasn't that bad. You're threatening a teacher. Telling students waved banners and flags and shouted throughout the hallways, demanding that she be fired. She was later safely escorted out of the school by the NYPD. It was hectic, you know, everyone was doing their things in the hallway. They were breaking stuff while some, whoever was in that class, they were in a lockdown. School's Chancellor David Banks says the teacher did nothing wrong. So in this case, a teacher at Hillcrest High School was targeted based on her support for Israel. Expressed in a permissible way outside of school hours and her Jewish identity. And that is completely unacceptable that she would be targeted for that. Banks says only about 400 of the school's nearly 2,500 total students participated in the pro-Palestinian rally. Only about 400? Could you imagine having 400 people after you at one time? I mean, even John Wick can't even <laughs> escape that. I mean, what, it was only about 400 kids. No big deal. Most of them didn't even really know what was going on. Most of them probably did not. But last time I checked, it didn't take a whole bunch of people to do fatal harm to you. It didn't. doesn't take that much. But the bigger picture is that these kids feel so strongly about a topic that I guarantee you they know nothing about. A lot of adults don't even know much about it. And, you know, we, we've seen the demoralization of our country. We see it day by day. And here we are. It's funny because uh, if you watched my last video about the Israeli-Palestinian war uh, that is going on, you will know that I do equate BLM, Hamas, uh, all of these radical people. I, they are communist. And so it's funny that we saw BLM uh, radicalizing children in school. And here we are seeing a furtherance of that radicalization just on another topic. We see the radicalization with the gender ideology. We see the radicalization with BLM, critical race theory. And we now see the radicalization of Hamas. Well, you know, you're like, well, Keisha, what does Hamas have to do with communism? Well, the Soviet Union literally created them. And if you read Hamas's lit literature, if you read their words, it will sound very much like a leftist propaganda piece. They talk about the oppressors and the oppressed and colonialists. And it's all the same buzzwords, liberating and, the you know, all of those buzzwords that are very common when you hear communist talk. This is insane. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this video. What do you think about this teacher being attacked? What are your thoughts um, about the Palestinian-Israel war? Um, and let me know what you guys think. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.